Today we've a special feature in Grimsby Town as the Mariners charge up Division 1. In Division 2, the Huddersfield bubble has burst and it's York City who did the job. And Russell Holt, Lincoln's on loan goalkeeper. I'll expect you're still in bed with the blankets over your head, Russell. Probably burned his gloves in the bonfire last night. Well, my guests today are Barnsley's Neil Redfern, fresh from another win yesterday in Terry Europe. He's back with us to review the football stories in the Sunday papers. But let's get straight into the action from Division 1, where our three teams all won. We'll begin with Grimsby, who entertained Brian Robson's Middlesbrough. Here's Will Benters and John Shires. Grimsby have edged their way unheralded onto the fringe of the promotion race, but this was a result that will have had the rest of the division taking note. Within four minutes, Neil Woods put them ahead against second place Middlesbrough. And only 11 minutes had gone when the Mariners, unbeaten since the departure of Alan Buckley and the installation of John Cockrell as caretaker manager, went two up. Steve Livingston's header hits a post, but Jim Dobbin is there with a the follow-up. But Middlesbrough aren't short of confidence. They came into the game with two successive victories behind them. And trickery by Alan Moore almost pulled a goal back. But Craig Hignett's shot is blocked by Peter Handyside. It wasn't until midway through the second half that Borough pulled a goal back. Moore again at the heart of it, tripped by a wrong-footed Mark Lever. No arguments from Grimsby and no problem for Hignett from the spot. Borough poured forward for the equaliser, but the best chance was carved out by Woods. His chip brilliantly saved by Alan Miller. Grimsby 2, Middlesbrough 1, the Mariners up to 6. They were seeing red at Bramall Lane, an independent supporters group distributed red cards before kick-off. The message to the club's directors, spend money on new players or leave. It was Phil Starbuck on loan from Huddersfield.